tasks. Let's jump right into the video. If you're looking for a sign to leave him, yeah, he's a piece of shit, always doing something unholy. He makes you cry. Aren't you? Hey everyone, and guess who is back? So today I came with another Wake in the Factory with me, and hope you guys have been waiting for this video. A couple of weeks ago, I asked you if you had any questions for moving to Poland and jobs here in Poland and a lot of you have been sending messages either into my inbox, DMing me and sending emails and some of you have responded to the post. So in this video, I'm going to be answering all of your questions and if you have more questions, please feel free to ask. So let's jump right into the video. So the first question that I have is, I'm just going, I'm just going to read it as it is, then I'll answer to it. So it's, hey kids, my question is, how do you convert a work visa to a student visa in Poland? Yeah. So a lot of people might come to Poland using a work visa. So you can get a work visa through sponsors or you can look for a job here in Poland and you are employed and sometimes you feel like the job that you're doing is not like a white collar job or is not is or maybe you're doing a blue collar job and you would like to go and work into a to transition in a white collar job but here usually they want those people who have learned in Poland because it's much easier for them to do the paperwork and it's also much easier for those corporate companies to for to help you pay tax and stuff. So usually they want people who have land in Poland. So let's say you want to con you have a work visa and you want to convert it into a student visa like the question asked, you have to look for a place to learn here in Poland. And once you have gotten a place, you need to go and apply again for the visa. But this time you'll be applying for the TRC. And while you're applying for the TRC, you are going to be asked for your... These are the documents that you're actually going to be asked. But this differs because things are changing. So most importantly, they're going to ask about your student confirmation that you're a student and they're also going to ask for your... Oh, okay. So since you were a new to a fresh student, they're just going to ask for your student confirmation and that will come from the university that you have found a place. And I guess the next question would be like, how do I find a school? to learn in Poland. So if you're already in Poland, it's much easier, I guess, because there are a number of schools that are here and they all take international students, which means you'll be learning in English. So I would recommend that you apply on those school sites, not going through agents, because sometimes agents, they just take a lot of, of your money, but the things that they're going to do for you are the things that you can do by yourself. So I would recommend that you look for the school that you want. You look for the program that you want. If the fees is good enough for you, you can just go ahead and apply. And when you're applying for to be a student, they'll need your previous academic certificates. And if you learned in English, it will be good if you provide your English certificates or if you have like a recommendation letter from your previous school stating that you learned in English, that will be a bonus because you will have to avoid learning um, the English. The one you will have to do one year of doing English in some schools. And yeah, some schools that I know, yeah, like you have to do one year of English, then you proceed with your. Uh, education your studies but which will make let's say you're going to study you're su supposed to study for three years now you'll be studying for four years so if you have recommendation letters from your previous schools and they should state that you learned in english i believe that you'll be exempt from those english lessons yeah so let's get into the other questions um, here the questions read hi Chesa, how do you get a job directly with a company without going through agents. Okay, so I usually get like this question a lot. So 
if you want to get a job directly you have to be knowing your companies because usually most companies prefer is okay it depends with the job that you want okay so it depends with the job that you want if you there are a lot of like call center jobs that are available in poland and i believe other countries also in here in europe so for those jobs you can just apply directly through linkedin or you can go on the company sites that you want but i would recommend that you create a linkedin profile and there's this pratsu pl pratsu.pl or you can translate it to english but it's good to have a linkedin profile because most jobs recruit on linkedin and on linkedin also you find a lot of uh, like like a lot of jobs here in poland and also outside poland because uh, sometimes you can be working you can be staying in poland but at the same time working for american companies or working for um, let's say companies in ireland in england all over the world you can be working remotely it depends with the kind of job and the kind of experience that you want and the other thing that they look for is your experience because they want someone who can easily adapt and if you can easily adapt to changes let's say you can easily switch like okay i can do this okay the, those are the people that they usually look for because usually it's more of experience but uh, most call centers are just entry level you get anyone who speaks english they can take and it's always good if you're bilingual they can always recruit and as for consultants uh, uh, companies usually they are just looking for those who speak english and who have experience maybe in marketing sales or any related field that you're going to be doing it usually is one of the most recruiting departments i may say that i know here in poland was most people who have done programming they like than those who have like other experiences i did economics but um i'm still looking for a job in to economics but well mine was agricultural economics which i <laughs> i'm not a big fan of but well that's life so yeah if you're good like they recruit with the experience even if it's experience from another country they that can relate to the same job that you're going to do it's actually good because you are going to be given like probation usually probation is for three months but some companies can give you probation for one year it depends with the company that you're going to be working for because especially ngos they can give you like a probation for four months five months depends but you'll be paid during your probation but it depends with the company also that you're going to be working for okay so let's go into the other question so this question is with how okay how can i get a work permit for free with visa sponsorship i'm from kenya east africa oh that's a tricky question mm, let's see let me try something else without agent service okay so i've already also talked about this like you can try to look but if you're trying to look for jobs here and you're still in another country sometimes it's hard because they prefer to work with people who are on the ground and in terms of tax it's really difficult because the law the laws here are different from other countries like tax laws are different so i'd recommend that you first get into poland and it's much easier applying from the area where you're from even in portugal is the same even in netherlands is the same you just have to be on the ground because someone who is located in let's say you're located in finland and you're working for spain but you have to pay tax so they need to know which country you're going to be paying tax for so you have to be on ground it's much easier and as for the visa sponsorship i doubt there are people who give okay visa sponsorships are for free i believe but um what i'm well versed for visa sponsorships is for those who are doing nursing in england or an s8 all you need are your papers so that they can be processed for you um, so i had linked some nurse nurse aid um job requirements in the previous video where i talked about 
or what is required for you to be a nurse aide. Most people are leaving, let's say, Africa, are leaving Zimbabwe, South Africa to become nurse aides here in Europe. And there are requirements that you are you have to meet, but usually the visa is visa free, but they'll, they'll be taking some of the money from your salary and yeah you you sign an agreement with them and but you just have to assess if it's genuine and if it is the right thing that you really want to be doing so yeah let's see the next question okay so on instagram i had this question where someone was asking me if you can come with your family and your children so for me i would really highly recommend that you first as a parent come here you assess if it's what you want for your children because most kindergarten schools they don't speak in english and those which speak in which have teachers that speak in english are usually private school and they're a bit costly so it's up to you as a parent you first come and you assess if that's what you want for your children and if so yeah you can always come you you can always have your children come here unto you and they always have like uh, paper documents that go with yours but most of this information is on the government website where they talk about the work permits the visas and everything and also children like uh, how children can come because if you if your child comes here they have to go to school and you have to afford they have to have a medical ad so you also you you must be able to cater for that as a parent and yeah obviously you're going to be pay to have to pay for bills housing and stuff but i would really recommend that as a parent you first come on ground and assess everything and also i had a question if the gyms are here uh -huh. cheaper yes gyms are cheaper i don't go to gym but from what i have says like they start as low as sikistis loti going up so yeah it depends with the package that you want but yeah gyms are here and a lot of people wake up like, <laughs> they do wake up let's see so let's see another question so someone was asking me about the size that you can find jobs for so in the description box i'm going to put websites where you can find jobs both here in port let's me let me just say around europe because uh some the agencies that work in poland most of them i'm not very aware of them but i'm just going to put those which i have you seen people use which i seem i feel like they're genuine because i've seen people using them so those are the ones that i'm going to just link into the description box and feel free to ask like okay so when you're applying i advise that you do your own research don't just based on what someone has done and you just wait because sometimes it might not work for you because i've heard of agencies even for school students i've heard of agencies who have taken people's money and promised them that they're going to find housing for them then when you come here you find that maybe you're sharing an apartment or maybe you're sharing actually a room which is not conducive. So I would recommend that you have your fix right, because those agencies they're just out there to make money. Some of you, some some students have already been reached here only to find that the school doesn't exist. They've also reached here and also to find that like the house that they paid for doesn't even exist. So I would recommend that you do your homework, you verify, you ask questions. So I had someone who had asked me to look into the school that they were going to get enrolled in and I actually ended up asking around like, oh, you know the school and this stuff and the school, the school was like genuine, but I would recommend that you do your homework and when you're coming here for the first time, I would advise that you at least have funds for it that will last you for at least, let's say, three months because you might it doesn't mean that if you're coming here you're just going to get a job like like that so you might spend like three you might spend one month without finding a job so i would recommend that you come with some money on the side that you will be spending for food for housing for bills because right now food is a bit expensive and housing is a bit expensive and housing is actually difficult to find these days so i'd recommend that you you search and yeah 
that's it and as for factory jobs yeah it's always good you use an agent because you might end up uh, being scammed by those who recruit directly all the advice that you maybe get in touch with good agencies you can always verify the agencies because they should have a registration number which you can always go and search on the internet because the, those records are open to the public so you can always try to look for a business using their registration and usually in factories some of them they cover your accommodation they cover the the cost of food or all you have to do maybe is cook for yourself when you get home because well, at least you're working at the factories they feed you there so which is if you are not going to be if you're not that person who eats a lot uh you will be covered because they cover your food that is two meals two meals and yeah they cover two meals then the accommodation some of them they pay for the accommodation that you're going to be staying but they don't detect the money they might detect money from your salary but usually it's not that expensive because these are shared hostels and usually you do not you actually not allowed to give them your passport you have to keep your passport because some companies will take your passport but that is not allowed by the by the law by any chance so i had a question like uh what is the process of changing uh work if you're working in a factory so as long as you're working in a factory and you have like work papers with a specific business because this is a work a work visa or you need to notify the immigration office that you have changed your business which means you have to reapply again uh this is how it works with the uh, work visas but uh, all this information is also on the um, on the government website where you can go and search for more accurate information so guys <laughs> um this is all i had for you and if you have questions keep them coming i'll answer them and yeah hope you're all doing well and happy job hunting have a lovely one bye bye